Hey everyone, so today is a look using the new J Manuel Beauty products. I was recently sent them to try and I put a picture up of them on my Instagram and you guys all wanted to see a look using them. So here are the Skin Perfector foundations. The range does start from light all the way down to deep and this is the range in medium. So I've got medium 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I'm going to be adding a bit of colour to my face so I'm going to mix medium 1 and 2 together. These are silicone based liquid foundations. If you only apply a very small amount you'll get a nice sheer coverage but if you apply quite a bit like I'm doing then you'll get medium to full coverage with this foundation. To apply I'm using this duo fibre brush from Crown Brush and I'm just going to work that in circular motions all over the face making sure to cover my ears and down my neck. If you are looking for more fuller coverage with foundations I would apply small amounts and layer it. Because I've got strong lighting and I'm just doing this to show you, I've applied a lot more to my face, but this would be more noticeable in the flesh. You don't really want your foundation to be visible, so you want to layer it and work each layer into the skin as much as possible. That way, you're not going to see the foundation, but you are going to see a more flawless appearance to your face. If you just pack too much foundation on, it's got nowhere to go, it's just going to sit on top of the skin. For the purpose of the tutorial, I have put the foundation on quite thick, but as I said, in a day to day routine, if you want that flawless appearance, then just layer the foundation. To set all that in place, I'm using the J Manual Beauty Luxe Powder. I'm using the lightest in the medium shade, but again this starts from light all the way to deep. The idea of this powder is to give you that soft focus finish to your face. It's got a semi matte finish and it's got buildable coverage, so if you are looking for that flawless finish, you can use a little bit less of the liquid foundation and finish it off with a Luxe Powder. Next we're going to start on the eyes and I'm taking the J Manual Beauty Eyeshadow Quad in Narcotic. I'm going to start by using this dark silver with the shimmer in and under my eyes I'm going to be using these shadow shields. Because the eyeshadow does have shimmer in it, it can fall down. So these are going to prevent the eyeshadow falling onto my foundation. At the top of the shield where the half moon shape is, there's three peelable sections and this allows the shield to stick underneath your eyes. I'm using a blank canvas cosmetics flat shader brush just to apply that colour over the entire mobile eyelid. So we're going to take that from the inner corner of the eye all the way to the outer corner and up to the socket line. Ignore the fact that I've not taken it into the inner corner at this moment. I do eventually get to that, it's just I wasn't sure what kind of look I was going for when I was doing this. Next I'm using a fluffy blending brush by Crown and I'm dipping it into this lighter silver shimmery grey eyeshadow. And I'm going to use that colour to work through the crease and the outer corner of the eye. And this is also going to help us to blend the seam of the dark silver. You'll see I'm working my brush in small circular motions and this is going to help to disperse the colour evenly. Once I've blended most of that colour on the outer corner of the eye, I'm then going to use the brush to work on the inner socket of the eye, just pulling what's left on the bristles through that area. Next I'm taking my Sigma E35 brush and just using that to go through the socket area. And I'm doing this to make sure that the colour has a nice gradient up to the brow bone and there's no harsh lines. I'm going back in with my flat shader brush dipped into that dark silver colour and I'm reapplying that over the mobile eyelid. I'm doing this to build up some colour intensity and also replace any eyeshadow that was lost during the blending section. I'm taking my eyeshadow shield off so I can apply some eyeliner but I'll be putting it back on in a moment. I'm using the Ultimate Pencil by J Manuel and this one is in Wicked which is black. Now the eyeshadow, the pencil and the lipstick come as a three piece set and this is the iconic set. I'm slipping my shadow shield back on because I'm going to be applying some of the shimmery eyeshadows underneath the lower lash line. I'm using my blank canvas cosmetics pencil brush to apply the silver shade, the lightest colour first. I'm going to apply that very low underneath the lower lash line. I'm then going to go in with the darker silver colour and I'm going to apply that closer to the lash line so we get a nice gradient between the darker silver and the lighter silver. You can then remove the shadow shield and then do what I'm doing, I'm using the big fluffy blending brush just to work that under the lower lash line and smoke it out making sure there's no definitive line that may have been caused by the shadow shield. Going back to my pencil in Wicked, I'm applying that across the top lash line on the outer third of the eye. It sometimes helps if you pull your skin tool on the outer corner and this helps the pencil to glide along the skin. I'm taking an angled liner by Crown Brush and I'm going to use that just to smudge out the pencil ever so slightly so it's not such a defined line and it's also going to allow me just to pull it out at the outer corner giving us a very subtle wing. Going back to my narcotic eyeshadow quad I'm going to take the matte black shade and dip the same brush into it and then I'm going to just press that along the area that we've applied the eyeliner and this is just going to set it in place and also intensify it. I'm also running a small amount of that matte black eyeshadow extremely close to the lower lash line all the way across. 
Next I'm using Ivory which is the lightest shade in the quad palette and on a pencil brush I'm just applying that on the inner corners of the eyes and this is going to add a really nice dramatic highlight. It says online that this is a matte finish but it's actually a shimmer finish. Next I'm using this mascara called The Everything and this is by J Manuel also and it's got a swivel lid which adjusts the wand so you can choose between lengthening or thickening. So I've tried out this mascara and I really like it, I love the wand and it doesn't crumble, a lot of mascaras tend to crumble or they smudge underneath your lower lashes and this does neither of those so I really like it. And it's also super black and very very buildable so I'm definitely a fan. So I'm going back to my liquid foundation, I'm taking the lightest of the medium shades and I'm using this to add some highlight to the face so I'm applying a small amount of it underneath the eyes, down the centre of the nose, on the centre of the chin and a little bit on the centre of the forehead. I'm using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to apply this and I'm really working it into the skin. Again, I don't want to build up too much coverage but I do want to add a little bit of highlight to the face. And by choosing to use a liquid foundation over a concealer, I'm going to get a sheerer coverage. A liquid concealer is going to apply more coverage which adds more texture to the face, looking more flawless but more visible in the flesh. For falsies, I'm using these ones by Lash Boutique and these are in the style HANA. You can use the discount code SHOWMEMAKEUP20 for 20% off. Next I'm using the J Manual Beauty Filter Finish Collection Skin Facelift Powder. Now this is one product I find really does give you that soft focus finish to your face and I think that's something to do with the crushed gemstones that are in it. It photos so beautifully and I can imagine it would be super beautiful for bridal. The next product I'm using from J Manual is their bronzer. Now unfortunately mine broke so I've had to repress it. I do have a tutorial on how to fix broken products such as bronzers, blushes and eyeshadows and I will link that in the description bar of the video for you. These bronzers come with a nice flush of colour. This one is the lightest one they do and it's called Foreplay. I'm using my Sigma F35 brush to apply this and I'm just placing that on the higher planes of the face just to give me a little bit of an extra glow but also a tiny bit of contour. For blush I'm using this colour called Flush and it's by J Manuel and it comes with a tiny little brush applicator and under that is the beautiful corally colour blush. This is also a soft focus powder and it's highly pigmented so you only need a very small amount of that. So I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush to work that colour in because I don't like anything that's too punchy when I've got dark eyes. This is definitely the perfect colour for summer season. Now the lipstick that come with the Iconic set is called Thrust and this is a beautiful deep red. Now they do have a range of different colour lipsticks and I do think when you're wearing a dark eye that you should wear a nude lip but I am going to show you what it looks like on just so you can see the full effect. These colours are highly pigmented and moisture rich and they're not drying at all. But as I'm not a red lip person I'm going to use this Coral Bliss by MAC and I just think this really looks lovely with the silvery charcoal colour of the eyes. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, there's not going to be a talking ending this week because I haven't had time to film it so I do apologise. So don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you've missed my previous tutorials then click on these now.